must read books for doctors and review the problems of philosophy by bertrand russell bertrand russell a philosopher mathematician educational and sexual reformer fascist and prolific letter writer author and columnist in 1950 he was awarded the nobel prize for literature in 1950 for his extensive contribution to the world literature and for his rationality and humanity as a fearless champion of free speech and free thought in the west the book contains appearance and reality the existence of matter the nature of matter idealism author explains in the book on our knowledge of general principles how a prior knowledge is possible the world of universal on our knowledge of universal the book author explains the limits of philosophical knowledge the value of philosophy etc second must read book for doctors is the mind map by tony bozon the mind map book is the part of tony bozon's revolutionary mindset series introduces you to unique thinking tool which allows you to accomplish more than you could ever imagine your brain was capable of the mind map book which has been called a swiss army knife for the brain in the ground breaking note taking technique that already used by more than 250 million people worldwide and has taken educational business world by a storm the must read book for doctors is a guide to the good life the ancient art of stoic joy by william b even one of great fears many of us face is that despite of all our effort and striving discover at the end that we have wasted our lifetime in a guide to good life william b irwin flums the wisdom of stoic philosophy one of the most popular and successful schools of thought in ancient rome and shows how its insight and advice are still remarkable applicable to the modern lives in a guide to good life even offers refreshing presentation to stoicism showing how ancient philosophy can still direct us toward a better life third must read book for doctors is inferior how science got human wrong by angela saini for hundreds of years it was common sense women were the inferior sex their bodies were weaker their minds were feebler their roles was subservient no less a scientist than charles darwin asserted that women were a lower stage of evolution and for decades scientists most of them male of course claimed to find evidence to support this as saini reveals however groundbreaking research is finally rediscovering women bodies and minds inferior investigates the gender wars in biology psychology and anthropology and delves into cutting edge scientific studies to uncover a fascinating new portrait of women's brain bodies and role of women evolution fourth must read book for dr c second sons two doctors and their amazing quest to restoring sight and save lives by david oliver relin from the co-author of three cups of tea comes the inspiring story of two very different doctors 
one from united state the other from nepal united in common mission to rid the world of preventable blindness second son takes us from improvised plywood operating tables in villages without electricity or plumbing to state of art surgical centers at major american universities where these two driven men are restoring sight and hope to patient from around the world with their revolutionary inexpensive style of surgery tabin and reed have been able to cure tens of thousands all for about $20 per operation david oliver relin brings the doctor work to vivid life through poison portrait of patients helped by surgery from old men who cannot walk creatures mountain trails unaided to cataract children who have not seen their mothers faces for years with the dexterity of master storyteller relin shows the profound emotional and practical impact that these operations have had on patients lives sixth must read book for dr sis when breathe become air by paul kalanidhi paul kalanidhi was diagnosed with inoperable lung cancer one day he was a doctor treating the dying the next he was a patient struggling to live when breathe become air chronicles of kalanidhi's transformation from medical student asking what makes a virtuous and meaningful life into a neurosurgeon working in the core of human identity the brain and finally into a patient a new father what makes life worth living in the face of death what do you do when life is catastrophically interrupted what does it mean to have a child as your own life fades away paul kalanidhi died while working on this profoundly moving book at his word live on as a guide to us all when breath becomes air is a life affirming reflection on facing our mortality and on the relationship between doctor and patient from a gifted writer who became both